how to enable this AI is it's going to be underneath beta features. So once you click on beta features and you scroll down, there's going to be this thing called assistant preview. And once you grab assistant preview, you're going to want to click check and then save. And you're going to want to restart your game. As your game is being restarted and you load back in, you're going to see this new button up here called assistant. And this is actually a very useful tool for new and veteran developers. Say if I wanted to make this part get bigger and smaller over time, what I would do is click on the assistant button while having this part selected. And I would tell it, I would say, make this part get bigger and smaller over time. Constantly. And once I do that, it'll load for a little bit. And once it's done, all by itself. So now that we have this, we're going to take this script. Sometimes it inserts by itself, sometimes it doesn't. It's still a beta feature, so don't expect it to be perfect. So we're going to take this script, and we're going to just add it, add a script to the part, and then we're just going to put this in the script. And it should tween it. So when we load in, see, it gets smaller. Now it's getting wider that way. It's getting smaller, it's getting taller, getting bigger. See that? It's pretty cool. It's not exactly what we said. That's the thing. If you're not very specific with this, you have no clue what you're going to get. Like, say if I were to say, make this part change color, or make this part rainbow over time. I don't know what I'm going to get. It might change colors, like, constantly. See? Rainbow color script. So it might like change the colors like it should to be like a rainbow or what it's going to do is it's going to. OK, so yeah, look at that a little buggy. You know what I mean? So if we change this up. And wait, we just add like weight is 0 0.05. And so now if we look at this. Just by adding a little bit to the code, you don't even have need much. You can see more colors popping in. Maybe we need to like wait a little bit more. I'll get that up there. Wait, zero point one. And now, when we come and look at this, it should see now. It's just changing colors. That's the thing about this AI. It's a little weird. But if I were to be more specific, say if I were to say, make the part color change every 0 0.1 seconds resulting in a rainbow effect that is a very specific line so once we have this and we can insert a new script into the part and paste it in that's what i mean by sometimes it adds it sometimes it doesn't add it really depends but look at that See, it's changing. Yellow, orange, yellow, green. See, the color's changing now. I don't know why it's so slow, I'm not gonna lie. It's not, like, the best, but it's really good if you're, like, stuck on something. Like, if you were to say, how would I make a stun system for a combat game? See, now it gives you everything you need. Create the animation, stun logic, create when they should be stunned, stun effect. You can use a local script to play the animation on the character and disable their movement. And set the duration. You know, it tells you everything that you need. So it's a useful AI, but it is still in beta mode. So don't expect too much from it. But anyway, that's going to be the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. More of these will be coming out.